બધા પ્લીઝ મ્યુટ કરી નાખો મહેરબાન ہم غریبوں کی مدد فرما مولا یا مولا اپنے نور سے اپنی شفقت سے اپنی ہدایت سے ہماری مدد فرما مولا یا مولا مہربان رحم کر کرم کر فضل کر مولا مدد مولا مدد مولا مدد مولا مدد مولا تمام ساتھیوں کو ایک بار پھر یاری مدد آج آپ نے کنٹینیو کر سو آپ نے جی પ્રીવિયસ સેશન હતો સેમ ટોપિક લેકિન આજે આપણો ફોર્મેટ થોડો ચેન્જ હશે આપણે આપણે જે રાઇટ્સ એન્ડ રિચ્યુઅલ્સ છે જેના બારામાં આપણે ચર્ચા કરવા શરૂ કરેલી આપણી ફર્સ્ટ સેશનના અંદર અને આપણે જમાત ખાના અગર શરૂ કરીએ તો આપણે જોશો કે નોટ ઓનલી આવર રાઇટ્સ એન્ડ રિચ્યુઅલ્સ વિચ આર નોર્મલી આવર દુઆ આવર તસ્વીયાત નિયાઝ દુઆ કરાણી છાટા સમટાઈમ વી એડ અધર તસ્વીયાત ફોર એક્ઝામ્પલ સતારા તસ્વીયાત ચાંદરાત એક્સેટ્રા ફર્સ્ટ ઓફ ઓલ વિધિન આવર રાઇટ્સ એન્ડ રિચ્યુઅલ એન્ડ વિધિન આવર જમાત ખાના સેરેમોનીસ વિચ ઇન્કલુડ વોલન્ટરિઝમ the voluntarism why is it so important in islam in humanity and especially when it comes to our deen e haq deen e haq normally when we talk about voluntarism we do not think of it as our qurbani our sacrifice so i would like to talk about this for a couple of minutes and then we will identify one khidmat which is above all other khidmat ખિદમત એઝ અ કુરબાની ખિદમત એઝ અ કુરબાની સો લેટ સે એક્ઝામ્પલ એન્ડ વી હર્ડ એન્ડ વી લિસન ટુ મેની ટાઈમ અગેન ઇટ ઇઝ નોટ દેટ વી આર પ્રાઉડ પીપલ ઇટ જસ્ટ લેક ઓફ નોલેજ મેક્સ અસ દેટ વે For example, I am going to do a lot of work in the Jamaat Khan in the Jamaat Khan. You just ruined the entire work of 35 years. I am going to say 
humbleness so if we take two example back to back the person who has ilm and then when he or she does a khidmat and when you would ask ke bhai hu tumne roz jo jo tumhe kitna varsho se khidmat karo chau you know how he would reply with ill hu kya kai khidmat karu chu a to ehmat che kaash hu koi khidmat kari sakte jamaat ne mara mola ne without the ill the second person without the ill are bhai tumhe kitni jamaat ne khidmat karo chu and he will reply हाँ हूं तो पांतीस वर्ष ही नहीं छत्तीस वर्ष की खिदमत करूँ छू मारा माँ बाप भी करता था मारी बहन भी करती थी मारा माँ बाप भी करता था आ तो मारो खानदानी पेशो से डू सी हाउ इम चेंजेस मोमेंट हार्ट इज लैंग्वेज इज एक्शन his way of talk it gives humility and khidmat and qurbani requires requires ajizi humility let me give you the example of mola himself mola serves the jamaat 24 hour a day and says i have nothing more significant in my life but to serve my jamaat he uses the word serve and on our side what language do we use oh ato mara खानदानी पेशो हूँ तो छत्तीस वर्ष की खिदमत करो नॉलेज नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट इमाम इज डूइंग कंपेयर टू व्हाट वी आर डूइंग एंड अगेन आई वुड एस्क यू टू एस्क योर सेल्फ ask yourself a question when you go to jamaat karna what is the first thing first person do you normally run into other than those jamaati members who you meet in your parking lot in london in the underground i'm not talking about that but the person at the door a volunteer let me ask you a question How many times have you said thank you, bye, for your khidmat? Thank you, my sister, for your service. You know what Mola does? Mola says, "I appreciate. I see. I see you." That those are the words Imam used for our volunteers. our khidmat guzar may it be uniform or not uniform how many time honestly ask yourself as a momin the first thing we should need to learn and we must learn that your attribution toward the khidmat guzar should be yali madad number 1 when you say yali madad to a volunteer you know what you are doing you are acknowledging his khidmat you are saying 
as Imam said, I see you. That's exactly what the word Imam used. I see you. When the volunteer opens the door for you, you just don't budge into the door and just run into the Jamaat. You say, Yali Mother. And in your Yali Mother, there is a great sawab for you, for him or her. And you are saying, I acknowledge, I see you. I see what you are doing. And then, it's okay. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your great service. So you see, it's a two-sided. Our side, and if you are volunteer, then you are on the other side of the door. Humility. I'm trying my best. Inshallah, if Imam gives me Tofik Tai and Imatayari, I will be able to do more Kidmat of the Jamaat. Inshallah. I'm trying my best. I wish I could get better. See, the language different. Now, out of all the khidmat, you know which one is the best khidmat? And there may be some folks on this line, and it may be in your Jamaat Khana, this khidmat has been removed, taken away from you. Again, due to the lack of knowledge. You know what is the greatest khidmat in Jamaat Khana? The most humble khidmat in your jamaat kana? Shoes company. Correct. Shoes company. You will find professor, you will find doctors, you will find business owners, rich and poor, elders and youngs, men and women without any hesitation will pick up your shoes clean, dirty, smelly, rainy, wet. They will pick it up and they will put it in the right place. They will safeguard it until you return back to your shoes. That is the best khidmat. If they understand this, okay, again, without the ilm, what you are doing, you are giving the khidmat, but because you are not understanding, you are receiving one penny on a pound. Kathiawadi yao dando na kare, ado foolish dando ke vai. Ke pound ni jaga madhe penny le ne jai. Am I right? Only if they keep their humility and understand the khidmat in front of them. If, if they see the khidmat in front of them. And for us, on other side of the shift company, Yali Madad, and thank you for your khidmat. Acknowledge their service because that is what Imam is doing. Should we not be following Imam? Ask yourself how many times in last one year, last one month, have you acknowledged the volunteer in your Jamaskana and you have said, Thank you for your service. If your answer is never, or not this month, or not this year, then inshallah, starting today, we can do that. And that is part of your humility and your humbleness. Because remember, 
there are three kind of momin comes to jamaat khana one who comes and leave without any gain any benefits second they come and they take the sin with them third they come and they take the sawab with them if you start your jamaat khana journey by entering into jamaat khana with the name of mola ya ali madad thank you for your service you know what you are doing you are already on the road to earn some good deeds tumhe already sawab na barwa mainda potani joli na andar because you started right now you going to meet at least 5 6 7 volunteers you already said yali madad yali madad yali madad seven times you see your journey has begun correctly now let's talk about after you say yali madad and thank you to person in your shoes company and i hope you have a shoes company in your jamaat khana because for whatever reason not understanding they have removed the shoes company service shoes company is there but service has been removed the greatest service that teaches a momin humility ji namrata sikhavano darwajo hato na ye apne darwajo hi nikali rakho and that was shoes company then you come to nandi over the years i have received so many question on nandi some good question some not so good question some innocent questions so we going to talk about innocent question that why in the nandi we have to give money very innocent question remember we are we are still talking about bad qurbani apne gujarati ma ke che ke nandi mafat ne paisa dharam આપણે સાંભળ્યું હશે નાંધી મફત પૈસા ધરમ નેવર ટેક ધી નાંધી એઝ યુ આર બાઈંગ ધી નાંધી યુ નો નાંધી ઇઝ અ ફૂડ ધી ડિનર ફોર ધી ઇમામ આઈ ડોન્ટ કેર હાઉ રિચ યુ આર યુ કેન નોટ બાય નાંધી યુ કેન નોટ બાય નાંધી so when you are taking the nandi home and when you are giving some money the money is for your sawab and the nandi is free that's how we have to think about that i'm sure somebody is already thinking but aziz ba amara jamaat khana ma to nandi ma ho mara mari na upar 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 jai mara sa there's nothing wrong with that if they wanted to do a greater khidmat let them be happy for them don't back bite any chinta karwani zarurat nahi apne agar ene ek dollar ni nandi 1000 dollar ma levi che good for him be happy for for him one time in the one of the big madlas normally you know our sufro goes for let's say 10000 in the america dollars but at this one time we were blessed by two rich family in our jamaat khana 
and it Nandi went for close to hundred thousand dollars. And someone asked, "Tamay jo yu, be a paisa wala ready peda." Olo ke ke hoon na niche mudu karo na olo ke hoon mari garden na jukao. Me jodi yeah, that is one way of looking at it. How about we look at the other way? The one said that I am willing to give everything I have for the Imam. Are you willing to give everything you have for the Imam? How about we say their love for the Imam was much greater than the value of the money? Hundred thousand was nothing at that point. Hundred thousand was nothing at that point. Because their love for the Imam was much greater. Why don't we think positively for them? And remember, when they do our sufro, all the sabab goes to the jamaat and Rouhani members. It's not for them. It's not for them. This member of your jamaat just gave hundred thousand dollar to for your prayers, your sabab, and Rouhani sabab. See positive thinking. How do you bring the positive thinking through ilm? I don't think that we are paying too much attention to our kriya, our rites and ritual, our actions, and then what we bring in our mouth, our words. You know what they say, right? Your think, if you think wrong, it will come out of your mouth. Your words will be wrong. If you think positive, your words comes out of your mouth positively. We should appreciate them instead of criticizing them. We sh should think positively for them. You will say, but I know for sure they were in competition and they are always fighting among those two families. Okay. By saying this, how did you benefit from their fight or their good deeds? Mane kyo ke tamne e sochwa si ne e kewa si su sabam mai lo. Tamne su faido diyo. E logo na jagada si. E logo ni back biting si. E logo ek lag dollar hai pa. Tamara mate dua karama mate. Tamne su ke ro. If you don't like it, how about you bid a hundred thousand? You will not be able to do that. Sukame ke lag dollar nikama mate atlo moto dil joye, right? Atlo moto jigar joye lag dollar nikama mate. Bhatu karvi asan che. Lekin remember, you are not looked on by the Imam favorably because you are backbiting a moment, your brother, your sister in your Jamaat Khana, in the presence of the Imam in your Jamaat Khana, you are talking bad behind their back. What is the Imam Farman? Potana deen baini kare gila gibat nekar jo. We all heard of this for month. I'm not teaching anything new. We all know this. But then we do it again and again and every day. Every chance we get, we do it. All right. Now, after the Nandi, so you understand the difference between Nandi, Memani, Aval Sufra.
Nandi, you take the food home. Mema, Nani, you are presenting a nazrana to the Imam. Awal Sufro, you are offering a dinner plate to the Imam Zaman on the behalf of the Jamaat. Is this clear to everyone? Nandi, Memani, and Awal Sufro. Then comes the second, which is Hezinda and Kayampaya. We had talked about this in the past few weeks ago. If you believe that Imam is present in the Jamaat Khana, then call out Hey Zinda. You, you are reaffirming your Shahada, your Bayat, your promise to the Imam Zaman. And someone sitting inside the Jamaat Khana who believes, remember I'm keep repeating this, if you believe and if they believe, they say, I am Paya. But if you say, Hezinda, without believing that Imam is present in Jamaat Khana, then you can call Hezinda all day long it would not make any difference. Do you believe? If yes, say Hezinda. If you're sitting in Jamaat Khana, if you do believe, say Kayam Paya. Then I find Imam to be living and present in the Jamaat Khana and they reply, I also find Imam living and present in the Jamaat Khana. Now, different people have different preferences. Some do their Dua Karani first, before the Dua. And that is the only reason most of the people go to Jamaat Khana early. So they can ask for the forgiveness of the sin, and then they sit for their dua. Compared to others, prefer their dua karani afterward. So I ask a person who normally comes to Jamaat Khana very early, but I don't see him going to Mukhi Sahib at the beginning of the Jamaat Khana for Dua Karwani. And there is an argument could be made on both sides. So I ask him just for my learning, not that, that there is anything wrong with it. I said, what is the reason you do your Tobo Tobo, your Dua Karani at the end? By a boss, the this answer I po. ਕਿ what a great way of thinking. Did you hear what I said? This gentleman replied when I asked that you come to Jamaat Ghana so early. Just for my knowledge, I'm just trying to learn what is the reason that you wait until after the Jamaat Khana, almost until the end of the Jamaat Khana, and then you go to Mukhi Sahib to do your Tobo Tobo, your Dua Karani. It's just for my learning, not that there's anything wrong with it. He knows that I delivered these lectures and sometime for that, for my own 
understanding and learning, I asked question. And he replied, he, he said, you know, Mullah has said, there are a lot of people come to Jamaat Khana and then they take a lot of sin with them. So he said, I found a loophole. I asked, I said, Acha, please do tell. He said, I found the loophole. So I'll come to Jamaat Khana. I talk in Jamaat Khana. Sometimes I joke in Jamaat Khana. Sometimes even Bad Nasiri happens. You know, my eyes wander here and there. Sometimes I even do backbiting, gossiping. You know, we are all sitting here, we are talking. So I found a loophole. So what I do, I do all of those things first. And then at the end, just before I leave, I go to Muki Sahib and I ask for Tobotobo Guna Bakshani. Mara Bada Guna Maaf I ask for all my sin and forgiveness, knowingly and unknowingly. Then I go home pure. I say, wow, what a great thought. What a great way of finding a loophole. Then I said to him, now how about this another thought? Let's just kick around a different idea for a second. Be minute mate apde ek pg idea ne vicharye. Ki apde jamaat ka naam abhi akha divas na ji guna karela na pehle ne maafi mangi li thi. Pachi paak wo paakiza thai ekdam saaf dil saath hai koi ni panchayat koi ni bad nazri kai bhi na karta apne mola ne hazir ane nazir jani ne jamaat ka naam besi ne dua bandagi tazvi kari hai taki apne jare ghar jaye to atla bada sawab lai ne jaye tamaro ana vara ma vara ma su vichar che so I asked, I said, how about let's kick around another idea and see what do you think about that? Then we come to Jamaat Khana at the very beginning, we ask for the forgiveness of all the sin that we could have committed during the daytime. Then we can sit in the Jamaat Khana with a pure heart, with a pure mind, with a peaceful, pure heart. And then think of Imam living and present in the Jamaat Khana. And with that understanding, we do our dua, Tazbi, Ginan, Farman, Niyaz, and everything. And we do not talk about anyone's, uh, anyone, no gossiping, no backbiting. What do you think about that? For a second, for a minute, he did not reply. He didn't say anything. So many puchu, tomorrow su kya cha abarama. Before, because he could not answer, so I said. घरे जाए तीजा ई सवाब लाइ ने घरे जाए તમારી આઈડિયાના અંદર તમે ક્યાં ઉતરો પેલામાં બીજામાં કે ત્રીજામાં નાવ વી ઇન્સ્ટન્ટલી વોઝ એબલ ટુ કેલ્ક્યુલેટ ઇઝ દેર આઈ કમ ઇન ટુ ધેટ વન દેર કમ્સ એન્ડ ગો હોમ એમ ટી હેન્ડેડ 
Because the only thing I really wanted to do was come to Jamaat Khana and socialize. And then everything that I did knowingly, I knew I had committed so much sin in Jamaat Khana, I would ask for forgiveness and I will leave and go back home empty handed. What is this example I'm giving you? To give us a second thought. And how does this second thought come? When we have ilm, when we are able to see things clearly, when we are able to understand clearly. None of us are children. We are all adult. But even then, for whatever reason, we are not able to see things the way they are. Maybe we are just too busy in our own self that we are not able to see anything on the other side. If we can see things clearly. And you know, it is okay, even if I'm 50, 60, 70 year old, or if I'm a young man, a young woman, and if I don't understand something, asking question is the best way to learn things. And when we learn, the hope is that we will do better tomorrow. Whatever happened yesterday, Mola will forgive us. I would not worry too much about it. Whatever happened from this point back, Imam is merciful. You will find him merciful and he will forgive you. Don't worry about that. Moving forward is in our hand. What happened is already done. But going forward is in our hand and with the ilm, we can make our future better as far as our tariqa goes. Now, in our future next classes, I'm sure we will have a lot of other questions that would come. So today we have already covered Niyaz last week. So today we're gonna cover some of the majalis for a second. If I would ask someone on this line, and I'm sure most of you would know that there is only one single majlis which is compulsory and required of Ismaili. And which madlas is that? Only one madlas. And that is Chandra's madlas. Chandra's madlas. None other madlas, not even Betul Kyal, is required or for us on us. When does Betul Kyal becomes required and for us? on a Jamaati member, when he or she goes to Imam and say, Mola Bapa, now I'm serious about my life. I wonder and worry about my soul. I would like to elevate and come closer to your Noor. I would like to have your Didar, please, enroll me and give me Isme Azam. If you bless me with your Isme Azam, I promise to come to Betul Kyal Ibadat. Now that's a promise between you and your Murshid, your Imam. Imam promises you, Imam also promises you. What is Imam promise to you? You know, just like a Bayat, Bayat is a two-way promise. You say in Bayat, 
that I will always follow the Imam of the time. I will always follow the Farman of the Imam of the time. In return, Imam said, as the Imam of the time, I will always will guide you. I will always will give you Farman. I will always take you to the higher places. That's the promise in our Bayat. Just like that, in the Bethel Kyal bowl ceremony, there is the Bayat, there is a promise that take place. On one side, you said, I promise that I will do Ibadat if you would give me a blessing of this Mayadam. And Imam says, if you fulfill your promise of the Ibadat with the discipline, with the understanding, if you give the Qurbani, again, what comes Qurbani, of your time and your sleep, no excuse. But football game, TV match, routine you know, one time jokingly I said in one of the sessions, I could make so much money if I would collect all the excuses our Jamaat makes for not coming to Jamaat Khanna, not studying the Dua, not coming to Mazlas, not coming to Ibadat, not doing whatever, whatever, whatever. If I would start writing all the excuses, I can write a book on that. I can make a lot of money. Because we have more excuse than anyone, any other Jamaat I know. All kind of excuses. We have championed it. I can't even imagine that you have criticized it. You have to say that this is not a criticism. This is just to call you and to awake you. When we promise to Imam, and we remember making their promise to the Imam, then Imam promises that if you fulfill your promise, and if you come into the Ibadat, if you come and recite your Ismayazam and bowl, then I will bless you with my Noor. I will bless you with my Didar. I will come closer to you. You come one feet, one step closer to me. I will come hundred step closer to you. You rise yourself one step. I will come down hundred step closer to you. That's Imam's promise. Otherwise, you know, we could never reach his Ruhaniyat, his Noor, his Zidar. But look how gracious, merciful our Imam is. That even in this age, he runs around all over the world to bless you with his Zidar. You see that? That's how merciful our Imam is. Inshallah. So let me stop here. Think about, and this is a subject we're going to continue. And that is the subject of Majalis. Only one Majlis is Chandrad. If you can think of what is the reason that Chandrad Majlis is compulsory required, necessary, part of our daily rites and ritual, part of our shariat, where all the other majalis are not compulsory, not required. Matter of fact, 
you have to come especially on a different time to join those majlis. When Chandra Majlis is with the Jamaat Khana ceremony on the Chandra. And Mola says, you must, every member of the Jamaat must enroll in Chandra. Think about it, why so much emphasize on this Majlis? And I will stop here. I had received a question earlier before the class. I will go ahead and say this about that question. That this question is from a Ginan. I wish you had asked this question in our Ginan session, but you already told me you are not present in Ginan session today. So let me write down this excuse again. What was the excuse, sir? Oh, you were out of town somewhere virtually. Let me write down in this book of mine, because if I write this book, I'm telling you, I can make a lot of money with all the excuses we have. So with the lighthearted, I'm joking with my friend here. And his question is a nice question actually. It is about the Ginan. So he puts two thoughts in his question. Very thoughtful question. You know what that is? He's asking in our Ginan, the Ginan is Ali Ali Islam Shah Raja Allah Wo He Imam. That my Imam is the king of the king and he is Ali Allah. On other side, Imam in one of his interviews says, they think of the Imam as the manifestation of Allah. And my brother is asking, how do we understand these two different concept? Actually, it's not two different concept. It's a one single concept. And let me show you how. I'm going to use my own example. I am to my daughter, I am father. To my coworker, I'm a colleague. To you, I'm a teacher. To you, I'm a friend. To my sister, I'm a brother. To my mother, I'm the son, but there is only one fact. And what is that fact? That I am Aziz Rashpari. That is a fact. Just like that, Imam with his Noor is Ali Allah. In his humility, humbleness, he says, I am the manifestation of Allah. What does it mean I'm the manifestation of Allah? Let's talk about me again. My soul, I'm the manifestation of my soul. So what does that make me? Aziz Ashpari. If Imam is the manifestation of Allah, what does that make him? That makes him Ali Allah. You see that? Imam uses wise, wisdomful language. Ali Allah, the concept of Ali Allah is correct, but within our Batini Tariqa. But when we are outside the Batini Tariqa, Imam is the Imam. Imam is the manifestation of Allah. You see? wise, use the correct language at the correct place. Do not use the wrong language and wrong words at the wrong place. So, 
ને ઇમામ ને ડિસ્ક્રાઇબ કરવું હોય તો ઇમામ ઇમામ છે ઇમામ વધારે વધારે અલ્લાહ નો મોજીદો મેનિફેસ્ટેશન છે લેકિન આપણે જયારે જમાત ના અંદર વાત કરતા હોય તો ઇમામ અલી અલ્લાહ છે જોયું ક્યાં પર વાત કરે છે જેવી રીતે આપણે મિસાલ લીધી ને કે મારી દીકરી મને કહેશે પપ્પા લેકિન મારી બેન મને કહેશે ભાઈ મારી મા મને કહેશે બેટા ડિપેન્ડિંગ ઓન હુ યુ આર ટોકિંગ ટુ એન્ડ ફ્રોમ વોટ સાઇડ યુ આર લુકિંગ એટ હેમ ઇફ યુ આર જોઈનિંગ આવર સન્ડે મોર્નિંગ ક્લાસ યુઅર આફ્ટરનુન ક્લાસ we are talking about the very subject how do you see him do you see him as a human as a imam guide as the noor of allah or as ali allah how do you see him that is the session going on every sunday morning ji so let me stop here now let's see in our comment box thank you for letting me open this comment box today i can see this tasbi in the majlis says rohani membro jo kul guna maaf kar etc why only membro what about other member of the jamaat who have not joined the particular majlis okay so with your permission i would like to correct and rephrase your question first of all which majlis are you speaking of because if you don't tell me if we are talking about the chandra majlis are we talking about the ruhani majlis are we talking about betul khal majlis are we talking about naumi majlis which majlis are we talking about let's say you are talking about just an example I have no idea which madras you are talking about. You are talking about Naomi, Panchal, Barsal madras. Because those members have enrolled themselves in their madras, then the dua is given and taken for those enrolled members. I agree with you 100%. In your heart, you should always pray for everyone in the jamaat if that is your question i absolutely agree with you that our heart should be big enough and clear enough and we should always pray for everyone in the jamaat if that was not your question please rephrase and i will try to answer it again second question is is it okay and counted if we do bandagi at home instead of going to jamaat khana i live one hour away from jamaat khana oh, let me write down this excuse i live one hour away from the jamaat khana my brother i'm just saying light heartedly absolutely imam has given us easy way to do ibadat you go to jamaat khana when you can try to go to jamaat khana when possible but if you cannot go to jamaat khana if you are living this far away i want to use shiraz ba here on this line and i'm sure i don't know if his brother is online or not right now shiraz ba has a brother he used to live in tyler taylor yeah taylor taylor texas 3 hours drive from houston 3 hour he would drive to jamaat khana sometime twice a day because he was no missing. excuse <laughs> no excuse true tumara bhai ne introduce karao my brother zul and zul he used to live in houston Uh, in taylor he had a business and in and mukhi sahib in houston he was Jamaat houston mukhi sahib and he was made and he what about the, what about your other brother he was also living in taylor and came to austin every day yeah 
Yeah, I'll know. Don't forget that. Yeah. You'll see. But in the all seriousness, if you cannot, it is better to not give any excuse and try if you can. But if you can't, do your ibadat, fulfill your promise of the ibadat. And Mola is so merciful and you will always find him, Rahman and Rahim. He will not hold that against you. If that's what you worry, that Imam going to hold this against you, no, he will not. He will not hold that against you. Because I truly believe that he is the most merciful. Most merciful. Rahman and Rahim. Don't worry about it. All right. Uh, any other comments or questions? Yes, Aziz, yes. sir. Somebody is asking, I was just texted here. Ji. Ya Ali, Ya Muhammad, what is the reason for reversing this tasbih? To Ya Ali, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad, Ya Ali. What's the reason of reversing? No reason. No reason. So let me answer this first question. But that's a beautiful question. So not take it away from this question. And you can ask your part two question. Okay. First question should be, and I truly apologize for fixing your question because you have given me permission. Because if you, if you don't ask me good and complete question, only thing you will receive is half-hearted answer. And you do not want that from me. You'd like me to give you a complete answer and correct answer. So let me fix your question first. First ask me why or what is the reason we say Ya Ali, Ya Muhammad, when in our bayat we say, that I will follow the Imam Zaman. Should we not be saying Kareem, 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 Kareem? See, that should be the question. And that would be a great question. Because our bayat is to the Imam Zaman. But we are saying Yali Ya Muhammad. That should be your first question. So let me reply to your first question first. Okay. <laughs> and then I will I answer this. your second question, mm -hmm. which is why do we reverse Yali Yamamad Yamamad Yali? Okay. When we say Yali Yamamad, we are saying the father of my intellect and the mother of my soul. We are calling upon the father of our intellect and the mother of our soul. First we say Ya Ali, where Ali is the Imam, Ya Muhammad, the mother of our soul, the Peer. When we reverse that, we are saying at the time of the Natik, Muhammad was the father of our intellect and Ali as an Asas was our mother of our soul. soul. So what we are saying, so now I'm going to change the word from Yali Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad Yali to, oh father of my intellect, oh mother of my soul, oh mother of my soul, oh father of my intellect. That is Yali, Ya Muhammad, Ya Muhammad, Ya Ali. Now, how come we don't say Kareem, 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 Kareem? <laughs> right? Again, we must understand this concept. The Noor is one and the same. The Noor -e Muhammad and Noor -e Ali is present in the Kareem today. If I call him Ali, and Muhammad, that would be correct and right. Because 
Imam is Ali Nabi, Olad Ali. The Nur Nabi, the Nur Ali is in Shah Karim today. I'm not saying this. Let me give you the forman. The very first forman of Imam Aka Surda Muhammad Shah Salwatul Alayhi, may my soul be sacrificed to that Imam, says, do not think of me as a small child. I am the Nur e Muhammad and I am the Nur e Ali. Does this answer your question? Thank you. And her second question is, I don't know if I should ask you, but she's written it here, said it here. Do Hazar Imam and his family go to Kane? Which okay. region do they follow? My daughter says Hazar Imam always lives before the time of Dua okay. and does his family. <laughs> so let me answer in a different way. Because you are asking for a child. I, th I think you are asking for a child. But yeah. it's a good... good. Uh, it's one uh, of our members. She's uh, sent this message. <laughs> okay. How do you see Imam? See, that's where your question should come from. For the children, Imam is nothing but a human like you and me who needs... Dua, Bandagi, Ibadat, needs to go to Jamaat Kana, needs to do everything we need to do. Right? Is how do you see Imam? So how do you explain this to a young member? First, you ask them a question. When you say that, does Imam go to Jamaat Kana? Let me ask you, how do you see Imam? And that's how you make them understand the position of the Imam. I'm going to give you a great example. Hopefully, it will help you and when you're trying to explain to others. Look at the sun outside. You see how bright that is? Look at the sun. What makes sun, what gives light to the sun. A sun in himself, in itself, is bright and light and complete, or does sun also needs a light? Scientifically, we can say the sun in himself is bright, light, and complete. He does not need a light. But look at the moon. Moon is also bright, but it needs a light of the sun. That is the example of the Imam and the Murid. Imam in himself is the complete Nur, complete Nur. Because when we say Imam goes to Jamatana, that means he is still trying to struggle and he's trying to complete his noor. He's trying to be one with Allah. So what is the first question should be? How do you see Imam? G. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Can very I nicely ask, explained. Thank can, you. Can I make a comment, sir? Sure. Yeah. Sir, another excellent, uh, as usual, you know, I mean, very nice session. We had Shukar alhamdulillah. ઇલ્લનથી are able to do this and so, it is your hard work and it is your hard work sir it is your hard work um, can, can i can i tell you some fact you will never find more lazy person than me I'm the lowest, <laughs> most laziest person you will ever find I that's why that. that's why he always breaks the questions and puts them in different parts to make it easy <laughs> easy for myself Gee, so next question was 
Yeah, the mascara can... is the best place for ibadat unless it makes it a uh, uh, very difficult for whatever other reason. That's what I think. Okay, so there was a comment. Jik, Shiraz, okay. go ahead. So on on that subject of the joke that you made that you are, you are writing a book and you'll make more money, can I suggest? <laughs> just another joke that you keep one page special for genuine reasons i can assure you you'll only need one page but you will probably need about 999 pages for the other joke so you know sometimes <laughs> joke you know the reasons we give are genuine jokes uh sorry reasons so you keep one page aside for the genuine and non genuine can you can you give me one genuine reason yes i i went to the funeral i stayed with my <laughs> Today, so that was a real genuine reason. I couldn't just, you know, it was a family <laughs> one. So, <laughs> sir, so another I'll put that in between, uh, in between the uh, genuine reason and uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, so, but you'll only need one page for the genuine reason, sir. Uh, we started this uh, about volunteerism and how people say, okay, Oh, 30 years I've been doing this, and you know, arrogance and everything comes. I think I read it somewhere that there was a surah in the Quran. And that is the only surah which has been uh, mentioned about a person. And it's, his name, I, I looked at it in my file today, and uh, it's called Laheb, Laheb, Surah Laheb, 111. And he is the only person in the Quran named by the name in, in the ayat. And he was so arrogant and so, so you know, he used to show up for all the things that, uh, you know, Allah specially sent a special ayat on him to teach people that you must never be arrogant or show off you know to say oh i've did this and i've did this and whatever good things that you do your right hand should not you know your left hand should not do your right hand i don't know whether i'm wrong in presuming yeah. that you know there is so, a sign. no no you are absolutely right there's another thing that we should never do okay and i'm gonna pick on farida by now <laughs> i have i picked enough on you <laughs> uh, so, may put you for it by now, and I'm just picking on her. Okay, I'm just using her as an example. As a joke. No problem. Yeah, as an example. For it by now, came I just take a take a lago cho. Because this is by some news. I know. Turn away, go to the house. I bad at karma matte. And the boy, me too. Some name not to put you. So make a lago to the bad at karma matte. She could not wait to tell me. That she wakes up at three o'clock in the morning for the event. <laughs> and we hear this, right? You know, why do we have to tell someone what time do you wake up for Ibadat? Matter of fact, you know, if someone asks you, you know, I see you in Muni Jamatana every day, and I know you work five, 10, 15, 20 hours a day, how do you do it? Your answer should always be most humble. You know, someone asked me one day, and this was my answer, okay? How on Jamathana Made or two the rule chow, but she jamathana jena sui jow. Or you can say, yeah, I try my best but I cannot do it every day. Sometime I do not wake up. Try not to show or talk about your good deeds, your khidmat, your ibadat, your hazri in Jamaat Khana. Don't talk about that. Because your hard work gets ruined just because you told, you showed off. Is not good for our soul. So whatever we did in the past is okay. Forget it. Going forward, try to stay humble. Humility is the key to success. And look at the Imam's example. He uses word. You know, it's so hard for us to even listen. That I am here. I have nothing better in my life then serve, serve my Jamaat. You see, humility. G. Sir, uh, that example you gave about the moon and the sun, 
similar thing happened uh, a few weeks ago when our queen passed away and uh, we have a greed, greed association here and one of the chairmen one day came to talk to me for some other business and then he asked me who are you and everything and he was and he wanted to know who he says who is the Aga Khan is this the house the race course owner or the race horse owner and everything so you know I explained to him the, the last week when the queen passed away he came to me and he says I suppose your your imam whom you consider God cannot come to the church can he because he didn't come for the funeral I said can I just answer ask you one question when the invitation was sent to him what would the invitation would say I mean who was would it be addressed to and he said of course we, they would invite him politely to his highness the Aga Khan I said there you are but he is to you his his highness the Aga Khan but to me he's Shakarim al Husseini, my imam my lord you see there is a difference between what you think of him and what I think of him he can you know he can come to the church if he wants to if you invite him as his highness the Aga Khan there's nothing wrong with it but I look at him in a different way and he was you know he he he, he, he was ashamed for us making that comment to me but you know I had to give him a reason Okay, what we think of our Mola and what you people think. You know, he straight away said, oh, the horse court owner. You know, he wins so many derbies. I said, that's not his only thing. <laughs> so, uh, looks like I did not answer the other half of the question. So, my apology, because she had asked the question of the Imam and the Nurani family members. So I'm going to give you two answers for the Nurani family. One, same question. When you say Nurani family, how do you see Nurani family? Did that have hidden your answer? How do you see Nurani family? If you see the Nurani family as progressing, to complete the Noor, then yes. If you see them have completed the Noor, then there is no need. How do you see it? See, the question always should be, how do you see it? Not that they should or should not, because we cannot judge others. We cannot even judge our own brother and sister in the family. That is not our ta uh, task, our job to judge others. But how do you see them? And when we are talking about the Imam, when we're talking about Nurani, Nurani family, how do you see them? If you see them as progressing into the Noor, then yes. If you see them as a complete Noor, and therefore you call them Nurani family, then they have no reason. It depends on how you see them and what stage they are. But it is not my task nor my job to watch over them to see if they are or they are not. Because I don't even have a, any obligation to want my family. If they want to go to Jamaat Ghana, it's for their soul. If they don't want to go to Jamaat Ghana, it's up to them. I'm only responsible for my own soul. G. I don't understand this question. Can we say Shukar Mola? What does it mean? Can we say Shukar Mola? Can you please elaborate or explain? The person who's asking question in the chat. Shirazba, can you check on that? Someone asked a question, can we say Shukar Mola? For no. what? Can you explain, please? I think my, it's not on my... What about now? Shukar Mola, yeah, yeah. What does it mean? Can we say Shukar Mola? To what? Can you please explain to us this by 
What do you I want think, to know about Shukar Mola? I think it's, it's Kasim, isn't it? Parvin Kasim. Parvin, yeah. Par, par, yeah, uh, yeah. Parvin. Parvin. Parvin? Aziz yeah. sir, what do you want to know about Guru? I want to know about the mandi. I want to know about the mandi. I want to know Did you get up to Shukar Mola? Yeah. Can somebody explain the question to me? I'm still not understanding. Aziz My apology. I'm so sorry. He gets a kitchen a bungi mouti, eh? Somebody would take bungi time. There is sugar mola, sugar, curry, sugar, sugar, no mola, no. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that's the question. I think she's trying to ask something else. Yeah. No, she said just what she said, bungi mouti, there is sugar mola, curry, sugar. I think she was asking that if, uh, uh, someone is asking whether you did go to Jamaat Khana for Bangi, then can you just say Shukar Mola as your reply? Yeah, this, is yeah. the, this is what she said, Bangi Mautie. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My apology. Okay, I understand the question. Yes, sure, you can say Shukar Mola, but where is the humility in Shukar Mola? Because when you say Shukar Mola, you're saying, oh, yes, oh, yes. I have been going to Bandagi. Oh, yes. Shukar Mola, I'm going to Bandagi. Remember, we are talking about humbleness. We are talking about humility. Where is the humility in that? You could definitely use that. Of course, why can't you not use that? You can use that, yes. But humility is more than that. You, we need to take the side of humility. Show your humbleness. Because humbleness is required for us to elevate in our ibadat. Without the humility, I mean, look at the Imam Furman, Bethel Pair Furman. When you sit in ibadat, stay humble. You heard that Furman, right? When you sit in Ibadat, stay humble. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So, yes, of course you can say that. Yes. Okay, I would like, uh, so once somebody is saying, some people, can you tell me who are those some people? Are, if you are going to ask me a question, you, can, you don't have to say some people. You can ask, ask me a straightforward question and I will give you a straightforward answer. Uh, uh, sir, that, that's not my me. question, but it just, just go ahead. Sorry, Mafi. Um, no, the the previous question was not my question, but just to expand on that, Shukramola, isn't it just like um, because of His mercy that I am able to wake up and go to Jamaat? I mean, isn't it full of humility yeah. when you say Shukramola? Yeah, you can say that. You can say that. Yeah. Yeah, but see, so you are asking me a question. Aziz, by the way, someone at Jamaat can go. Right? There's nothing wrong with that answer. Like now we have a busy vicharo. Kya yar, who the hood is to Roncho? Jamathana Javatu is nothing. Ne Jamathan Jaun Bichon, to Jamathan Majain is we jaunch. Do you see the difference between those two answers? One, you took the credit. The other one, you did not take the credit. You see that? That's yes. a different, uh, it's different how you answer. Always take the side of humility. G. So somebody was asking about some, some people. Who are those some people? Tell me first, or you can ask me a direct question. I'll be happy to answer it. G, any other comments, question? Okay, so Moise is asking that Galpatna Dorama Sans Gatan Vandeche. So, in no sumatlapche, ne any sutta wheelche. 
ओके बता दी पहले हूँ ईमानदारी से तुमने जवाब दू कि मैं आज तक पोता हूँ तकरीबन यंग मैन छो ते जो सको जो मेरी उम्र के लिए मोटी है मैं आज तक क्या गलपाट ना धागो लीधो नहीं तो मैंने खबर नहीं कि गलपाट ना धागा में के गांठ हो मैं नहीं खबर आर टेक यू वर्ड फॉर इट के देर आर सेवन नाट्स इन गलपाट धागा ओके सेवन इज अ वेरी इम्पोर्टंट नंबर इन आवर तरीका For example, the world was created in seven days, six days of Natikin and one day of Kiamat. Seven day is also of Satara. If you want to change your habit, if you wanted to get well of a disease, if you wanted to get well from the laziness, do seven days of Satara. of exercise of walking or coming to jamaat khana seven days plays a very very important role in our our tariqa but on top of that there are seven hudud e din hudud e din hierarchy of religion under the imam seven ranks under the imam and those are musajib mazun e medud mazun e mutallaq dai e medud dai e mutallaq hujjat and hujjat e azam seven ranks under the imam and that could be one of the reason that we are saying that with the niyaz daga me mola take me from the bottom where i am struggling all the way to him and his mercy and imam's number is number 8 mola ali imam e asas number is number 9 and natik is number 10 the nafse kul is number 11 and akle kul is number 12 so there could be one of the reason for the niyaz daga having seven knots if i'm not correct in my answer then my apology up front as i have never in my life have taken the niyaz daga so i would not know because i have not seen it i have not counted it ji Ya Ali Madad sir. Ya Ali Madad. I just wanted to give you one comment that uh, I don't know you been working so hard to teaching us in the morning. I hear you every mo uh, Saturday, Sunday to two hours. At afternoon you doing you working so hard. You first you have to study all this, and then you have to teach us uh, tell us every these thing things. You working so hard to do these things. my god i don't think anybody can do this much hard work or you doing it uh, i i i beg the differ i beg the differ you know how many hours are in 24 hour yeah to, uh, 24 hour and how many mm -hmm. time how many hours did you count it one hour two hour or three hour yeah two hours every morning at saturday you, you see how lazy i am i still have 22 more hour when i don't do anything You do. You must be studying in that time. <laughs> I don't think you can just sit down. You must be studying because if you want to, be, if you have to teach everybody, everybody, has, if everybody has to do any anything, they have to learn first. They have to read first. They have to learn and for a for answer to to learn. Then you can get it. So that you must be doing all these things for that many hours. So you're not lazy, but you're working really hard for us. No, I'm not doing any of that. But thank you for your yeah. comment. I wish I could do all of that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Ali Madad, I just passed. Yeah, Ali Madad. Oh, question, Mr. Kachi, me bola. 
નજર ના લગે ને એટલે in doro dago i have no experience you know so i i i don't know how to comment on this because mm. i have no experience i have never taken a doro in my life so mm. i i have no idea if she, if she thinks that if she believes that then mm. good for her yeah you know because remember sometime it is only that belief that take you from one side to the other side if there yeah. that is our belief then yeah. so be it and we are okay with that okay ji richard ko no tv on che koi no tv on che please who's tv is on salma to jo tv on hai salma ha a slow par ever yali madad yali mr sahib yali madad yali madad તલવાર બરાબર છે આપડે આપડો ધર્મ ને પાડવો એવું છે કે જેવું તલવાર ની ધાર માટે ચાલવું કે બહુ મુશ્કેલ છે આપણે બહુ સંભાળી સંભાળી ચાલવું પડે છે એમ કે આપણા મજબ માં કોઈ ઓકસ પોકસ નથી કે જે મરજી આવે ચલાવતા રહીએ I I heard previously I I can't remember where exactly the ad that you buy nandi you should bring it straight home no not stop at someone else's way someone else's house on the way is it uh, true the ad that 
you you're bringing barkat in in the house when you buy nandi <laughs> yeah we, we just talked about right our religion is not a religion of hocus pocus doesn't that sound like hocus pocus to you <laughs> right in a manaso na kai khabar na ho ipotani samasi bas bolta ho right <laughs> do you find any logic in that tell me that i'm going to ask you that question we are we are educated we are very literate we are very ilmi jamaat right do you find any logic in that question tell me that if your answer is no then we can let that question go all right okay so what's your second question i'll let it go then aziz my can i ask you a question oh hold on let her finish sorry go yeah ahead. sorry zulabia yeah. sorry 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 yeah go ahead zulabia a second question Hmm. It is that you said nandi is is sawab and you you're paying the the nandi money as a sawab right mm hmm ishq qurbani that you yeah. are giving as a money and the nandi that you receive i don't even want to use the word buy nandi we cannot buy nandi because we don't have enough money in the world to buy nandi so when we take the nandi we take the nandi as a sawab and we give the qurbani in return as a money and that's your qurbani and that is your sawab so nandi is free you cannot buy it ji okay is it okay for 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 the moki saib or, or or someone to to offer to offer a plate for, from the nandi part to to a guest who who is who came from out of town uh, and came to jamat khana okay so let me try to understand this question correctly moki saib just pick up the plate from the part and just give to somebody that's what you think yes without going through the nandi process Is correct that, would you think all yeah. right so i would answer it this way mukhi saib is the amar in the jamat khana he can do whatever he wants i have no objection there is no right and there is no wrong in this instant because mukhi saib has the complete amar to do how and what he wish inside the jamaat ka that is the position of the mukhi is so let's turn this question to mola baba okay so let's say mola baba appears in your jamaat ka today and he goes straight to the big over sufro nandi on the part and he calls the volunteer and says take this and you see that beggar sitting outside homeless go and give him that nandi would you have that question what you just asked right now if your answer is no then your other question is not right to ask because imam has given amar to the mukhi saheb so mukhi saheb's action is the action of the imam in the jamaat khana and this is a very serious answer to that question because sometime we do not see mukhi saheb as the amar of the imam in jamaat khana ji thank you you welcome <laughs> okay as is sir my question is not uh, it's nearly same as uh, zulobia's question like when we go to khane on our back on our way back from khane if i want to stop in a shop like to buy milk or anything my husband says no we have to go home first we can't leave khana's barkat you know there is that true 
he brings me home back and then we go to the shop so, khana ji barkat na ki dili ki da yeah so let me answer you in the same manner yeah does that make any logic to you no that you answer no you remember our tarika is not hocus pocus is right? listening good, so good there job. is no right so there is no logic in this question nor there is no but if this is what he believes you should not define him for that this is his belief so be it so be it remember everyone has their own belief and the belief runs there them the belief takes them from point a to point b we should not interfere with other person's belief if this is what he believes then absolutely let him believe that there is no reason for to fight logically you are right in the belief he is right and there can be two rights there's not a problem we are not shortage of right in belief he is right in logic you are right and you are both right in your own places in respect to you you are right respect to him he is right there's nothing wrong with it thank you thank you so much thank you very nicely explained thank yes. you thank you ji i see someone else has a hand raised go ahead aziz bhai yali madad yali madad nice to hear from you and the, the... Uh, the way you actually explain uh, mm, uh like you rightly said just now uh, logic and belief uh, both can be right and uh, it's very interesting my question really is that uh, with all the discussion that takes place here i don't see many youth on here though there are some not that many uh how do you see the youth being able to uh, articulate or how can we articulate to the youth it's a two way process right because they've got beliefs as well it's not that our children do not have iman and they do certain things in their own way but how do we actually articulate these kind of concepts so that children can um, and i i when i say children really is i mean even uh, uh young parents as well can then translate that into their own life and practice the tariqa uh, in the in the manner that uh, that you are explaining very a great uh concern and that is a worry sometimes so i would always say it, i and i do teach to a lot of young in our city here in dallas uh there are a lot of young parents uh a young couple not even uh have any children and then there are some uh religious teachers that are teach here i think and this is just my humble opinion that as the elders of the jamaat grandparents and the elder parents has the first duty to learn and understand and then live by the example then you transfer that feeling to your elder children and then they can transfer that into their younger brother and sister and if they are married to husband and wife and then to their children if you are a rec teacher if you are have a job of teaching the teachers in the jamaat khana or in the night school or in the mission classes or online then it is up to you and it is important for you according to imam farman to have a complete knowledge don't teach without having complete knowledge because when you try to teach something and when you don't know something you should be humble enough to admit and say i don't know anything about this is and it is okay to say that i do not know anything about this like for my example look at my poorness when the lady asked me about ginan i had no idea what she was saying so i asked her humbly please explain the ginan to me first so i can give her the correct answer 
if we all combinedly do this, that we learn, we learn and we learn, and then whenever we don't know something, be humble and ask, teach me. And you can teach me as much as I can teach you. And when we learn together from each other, then we have a complete knowledge and then we can give to our youngster, young couples, and then inshallah, they can transfer that ilm and the feeling to their younger ones. And that's how we do it systematically. And remember our youngster, they will never listen to anything that does not make logic. The logic has to be there if you are going to teach your young ones. Logic, inshallah. Thank you. G. All right. I have repeated. Uh, let me take this comment over here. Um, my mafi. I, I wanted to repeat this third or the fourth time again. Do not use word buy, purchase for Nadi, please. After explaining that two, three, four times, I'm feeling that maybe my words are not getting through. Gujarati Makao, ke Nadi Namate, Kharidu, Bai Karu, E word say Nati. Apare Nandi leche, and a paisa, Kurbani ni jem deche. We do not buy Nandi. We take Nandi and we give money as a Kurbani. So use their proper term. Don't use the word buy or purchase for the Nandi because that is not correct for Nandi. So now you ask a question and this is a good question. So I have to say it is a good question and I'm going to answer it. You said when we take the Nandi, can we use the Nandi and can we give this to non smiley May it be friend or otherwise? I'm going to give you a logical answer. Logical answer, okay? Let's say you take the Nandi. I'm going to use example, Kukupaka. You take the Nandi, you realize that it has so much salt and you have a high blood pressure. You cannot eat that Nandi. You have a high blood pressure. But your neighbor is a Hindu and they love Kukupaka. Now tell me logically, you have two choice, throw away in garbage, in trash, or give to your neighbor. What is your logical answer? Of course, you will share with your neighbor, right? I'm telling you, you use logic, you always will come out ahead, always. So in Pakistan, India, in Africa, Right? So what is wrong with the sharing our food, our blessing with our servant, our neighbor who are not smiling? What is wrong with that? The logic tells us that humanity shows us the human always share. And logically, you're supposed to share. There is nowhere, anywhere in return that you cannot share food with other human. May they be smiley, non-smiley, Muslim, non-Muslim, Hindu, Gola hoi, ke kada hoi, ke sabedo. So Good question, by the way. Thank you. G. And thank you for correcting. Thank you so much. That shows me that you are humble enough to change your statement to get Nandi. I appreciate that. 
that touches my heart. G. Uh, uh, someone has hand raised. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I just want to. I just believe to bring Nandi at home and uh, give you barkat in the house. Bring the barkat in the house. Absolutely. True? Yeah. Remember, you cannot challenge someone's belief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Iman, your belief is the belief. And that is perfectly okay. G. Thank you, sir. Yeah. G. Ali Khan, did you want to say something? Yali Mother Tazisba, Yali Mother, everybody on the chat. Yali Mother. Um, what is your observation regarding um, um, uh, how the dress code has changed coming to Khane as, as, as we move into the future? You know, the, the, the way men and women dress, sometimes provocative, sometimes, um, uh, um, you know, some, sometimes your, your uh, um, uh, as 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 I've been to many different Jamaat Khanas. In fact, I came to a Jamaat Khana in Dallas, um, uh, <coughs> the plain of Jamaat Khana. I was wearing jeans, and I got told off. You know, you shouldn't be by, by an older guy. You should not be wearing jeans. Mm -hmm. No, you should. Okay. You, um, what 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 do you think? What what is your observation on this? Yes. So Ali Khan, first of all. My apology from that member of my Jamaat Khana, because I go to Plano Jamaat Khana. <laughs> I truly apologize on his behalf. It's a super Jamaat Khana. Yes, I love that Jamaat Khana, yes. Okay, so one is my observation and one is my opinion. My observation is that sometimes parents, so first I'm gonna put this on parents, shoulder, that parents did not guide and teach the children correctly from the childhood, from the get-go, from the beginning. So I can only, like I said, it's just, one is my observation and one is my opinion. So in my home, we had a code of conduct. So I would tell my children, they cannot go to Jamaat Khana without proper attire. It, it does not have to be expensive attire, okay? Just proper attire. And of course, as a children, I have to tell them what is proper attire. By example, I have to teach them, right? By example, I have to teach them. I say, at least have Collar shirt, meaning no t-shirt. Like this, you cannot go to Jamaat Khana. This is not the attire for Jamaat Khana. A respectful collar shirt. It can be a $1 shirt. As long as it is clean and decent. Second, there cannot be writing on your shirt or t-shirt or whatever you are wearing. Meaning, you don't go to Jamaat Khana to advertise. Don't take the uh, Nikes, Polos. Sometimes people don't think there's a beer and wine and whiskey or the Coca-Cola or the Pepsi advertisement on your shirt because your Jamaat Khana is not the place you wanted to advertise. So what is a proper, simple clothing is the way to go. Just simple shirt, a simple pant. Wearing a jeans, there is nothing wrong as long as a clean jeans is a clean pant. Clean jeans is much better than a short. And you see people coming to Jamaat Khan in shorts. Our children had never, even as a child, they would not go to Jamaat Khana without a shirt and a pant. Now the pant can be of whatever of their choosing, clean and proper. No torn off jeans, you know, no fade out jeans, no dirty shirt or no advertisement. And so we taught them simple 
code of conduct to go to Jamaatul Ahmed. That's how we were taught. Now, on top of that, I would tell my children, and this is again my opinion, okay? And it doesn't mean anything. You follow your own code of conduct. I would tell my children, if you have a choice of wearing a dress pant, wear a dress pant instead of a jeans. And they will ask me, Dad, why? I said, if today was your interview, you were looking for a job and you were going for an interview, would you wear a jeans to interview? Or would you wear your best clothes? Remember in Jamaat Khana, we believe the Imam is always present. How would you go? You know, Shiraz Baba was just telling us about the coin. Did you see anyone coming in a jeans? Maybe there were a couple of people in jeans, but that was not respectful, right? But if this is what they wanted to wear, okay, I have not, no objection of that. But the proper attire to go into the king and queen's places is suit and tie, right? There's a proper attire. We are going to Imam's home, the home of the king of the king. What attire would we wear? Now, wearing a jeans is not a wrong thing to do. Now, I wanted, there was a hidden question within your question that our clothing is getting stream and stream and stream. Again, that is my observation, my opinion. Again, on the shoulder of the parents. Jamaat Khana is not a fashion show. Jamaat Khana is not a red carpet runaway floor. Jamaat Khana is the place of ibadat. Wear the clothes which will make you and people around you comfortable. Someone was telling me, and I, I hate that language, someone. Only reason I'm using the word someone because you may know that person who was telling me and I do not want it to backbite on anyone. She was telling me that she had bought $1,500, $1,800 dress for Kushali. Honestly, my heart was saddened by that. You know how much you can do with $1,800 in poor countries? How much help you can give to a smiley children for education, for the food? The dress you will never will wear again. That $1,800 dress you will never wear but one single time. You think you made your Imam happy? Because you were supposed to go to Jamaat Ghana to make your Imam happy. You think Imam was happy with you that day? That you wasted $1,800 on a dress which you will wear one time only? That is not a correct thing. Shameful clothing, okay? For the men, shorts, t-shirt. For the women, open dresses. You can wear nice, lot of fancy dresses, but it doesn't have to be open dresses. Respectful, decent clothing. If you just take that code of conduct, respectful, simple, Dressing. That's it. Jamaskana is not to place to show off your body or to show off your money or show off your clothes. It's not a fashion show. It's a place of ibadah. So that is my observation. Sometimes it is getting extreme. My opinion is to when we teach them, we should not criticize them. I would never go to any woman or any man. And if you come to Plano Jamaat Khana next time, I will not criticize you for wearing a jeans. If, if you are wearing something, let's say there were a hole in your jeans, I will respectfully will come to you, come and tell you that what is the code of conduct of attire in the Jamaat Khana? That's all, I will leave it to that. 
because it is your choice. It is your soul. It is your heart, your iman. It should not bother me because when I go to Jamaat Khana, I'm going for my soul between me and my Mola and that's it. I really does not matter to me who's wearing what in Jamaat Khana. It really doesn't matter to me. Normally, I don't even pay attention to it. You would have come to my Jamaat Khana and showed, I would not have noticed you. I would not have said anything to you. Ji. Good discussion, by the way. Yeah. Ali Khan would never wear torn jeans. I know. Right. I'm not seeing you in the torn jeans, Ali Khan. Do I know you, Ali Khan? Do I know you from somewhere? Um, I, I don't know. Um, uh, when, when it hailed in, uh, in uh, McKinney, uh -huh. I was there to fix the cars that, that, were, that were damaged by hailstones. I was, <laughs> so, so I, I, tra I traveled the world doing that, but I, I, was, in, uh, I was in Dallas for ooh, nine oh. months. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Inshallah, maybe, maybe next time we'll, I, I will make sure. I, I, will wear a, I will wear a pair of torn jeans and then you can come up to me. Next time oh, you are no, in Dallas. Never wear that. <laughs> yeah, next time you are in Dallas, ping me. I will take you for a chai or a dinner. Okay. We can sit and talk, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah, for sure. All right, Faida Bai, what is the plan for the night? Should we stop here? So thank you so much, Aziz uh, Bai. Thank you so much for your time and giving us all this beautiful knowledge. Amen. Aziz Bai, sorry, get up, but chachi, Tamara. Tan bachache. Mashallah, Mulay look at her. Moti chokri je, vachma chokro je, nani chokri je. Wow, Thank you so much. I don't know how much how to thank you. From no, no, no need. Just thank pray for so me. Much. That is good enough. Yeah, always, always, always. Thank always. you so much. Thank you. We'll see you next thank Saturday, inshallah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And book jare publish that and a copy money please. It will be a pleasure to buy it from you. Yeah. Then I I know he wanted to buy so he can start using it. Number one, number two, number nine thousand. Sir, sir, you read my mind, sir. You read my mind. You will never find Shiraz in Jamasan anymore. No, no. Excuse me, number, number 679. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Very happy today. Very yeah. nice. And you look nice. forward. Very good. Okay, okay. okay. Saru, Yali Madat Madani. Yali, yali Madat, yali. everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, your time. Yes. Tomorrow afternoon. Remember, tomorrow. one hour change tomorrow. For us. Yes. 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 And most user of my book. <laughs> Thank you, Yali Madad. Everybody, Thank good you. night. Inshallah, we'll see you. Yali Madad. 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 And Amen. in Ibadat and we all say, Mulaka Bulakara, Amen. Amen. Yali Mada, Yali Shuka Mula, Ramdolila, Shuka. Yali Mada, thank you. Yali Mada, Yali Mada. Shuka.